Welcome to the story room. I have an unusual tale for you today called An Application of the Modern Manufacturing Process. The teacher strode across the front of the room, looking out at his class. Recently, we've been living in a great abundance, he began. Now one doesn't have to worry about wasting material. A replacement to whatever is broken will come immediately. We finally achieved true prosperity. He strutted over to the bookshelf at the right corner of the glass and removed a dictionary. Cindy, can you stand up at the front of the class here for a moment? He asked. A tall young woman with pale skin stood up at her desk in the third row and navigated through the aisles to get to the front. Perfect. Thank you, Sydney. Stand right here where you are, the teacher continued. He stepped immediately to the left of the young woman, and, with a single motion, ripped the cover off the dictionary. Cindy screeched. Her face began to melt and warp, twisting, snapping in agonizing detail. Her skin stretched and contracted, bending in two opposite directions, all while being presided over by her screaming. The screaming didn't break until her face ripped open, at which point... It dribbled into a low, guttural gurgling. Unendingly, her wailing persisted, hanging on to the ears of all present, forcing its way inside, never relinquishing its grip on their minds. Her skull splattered into thousands of thin pages, legion in number. The sides of her face pinched inwards, flattening themselves into two ridge covers, and her long brunette hair peeled off her head into a sick rain. Two small fleshy objects hit the oak hardwood floor. They were her eyeballs. The young woman's body slumped and then crumpled onto the floor. Soaked with blood, her cadaver was surprisingly intact. Almost. Above her neckline, there was no face, but rather a book. The teacher bent over, tore the book off the neck of Sidney. A sloppy belch sprayed blood onto the floor and then the body was still. He then stood up and brushed off a rose-colored film with his right hand. The class gasped in amazement. On the cover, one could clearly make out the word dictionary. Now, if you will turn to page six in your study guide, we can begin to discuss how the modern manufacturing process works, the teacher said in a giddy tone. The class obeyed and pulled out their notebooks while the teacher slid the dictionary onto the shelf.